Hello, welcome to my channel. If you love biographies or history, leave a like. Now let's get back to the video. Dr. James Franklin Hyde's research combined the advantages of both glass and plastics, organic and inorganic chemistry, leading to the commercial production of silicones at the Corning Corporation and a long Distinguished career in 1930, Dr. Eugene Sullivan, Director of Research at Corning Glass in Corning, New York, hypothesized that plastics may replace many of their glass counterparts. He hired Dr. I, a young organic chemist, to develop a material that combined the best elements of inorganic glass and organic-based plastics. Even Dr. Hyde thought it audacious to hire an organic chemist at a company that produced inorganic glass. But the move paid off as Dr. Hyde soon created organosilicon. Work moved quickly for Dr. Hyde and Corning Glass Works in the 1930s. Hyde developed a flawless glass fuse silica, which would later be used in telescopes and telecommunications. Glass is silicon-based, making it temperature and moisture-resistant, chemically inert and dielectric. Plastics are carbon-based, making them strong and able to assume many forms. His team's silicone resins also showed immediate potential for greases, lubricants, and insulators. In 1942, an agreement was formalized by a handshake, giving birth to an industry, Corning Glass and the Da Chemical Company, agreed to form a joint venture, Da Corning Corporation, for the development and manufacture of silicones. Da Corning for Compound was the first commercialized product that made high-altitude transatlantic flight possible and ushered in a new age of aviation. Da became 100% owner of Da Corning in 2016 as manager of Da Corning's Organic Chemistry Research Laboratory and later as a senior research scientist Dr. Hyde would help develop many innovations throughout the mid-20th century. Silicone would prove an amazing material. It was resistant to water, UV light, microbial growth, and thermal conductivity, and was a strong, stable substance. It was used for rubbers, sealants, waxes, and other products in industries as varied as automobiles, construction, aerospace, cookware, and pharmaceuticals. Among Drive Hyde's many awards was the prestigious Perkin Medal, which he received in 1971. The award is presented annually by the Society of Chemical Industry for an innovation in applied chemistry, resulting in outstanding commercial development. It was a great honor or a scientist who would finish his career with approximately 120 patents to his name. He would later be inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Dr. Hyde retired in 1973, but remained a research consultant for Dow Corning Corporation. Three years into his retirement, he designed an alternative periodic table of the elements which was published in the student magazine Chemistry in 1975. His legacy would continue through the J. Franklin Hyde Scholarship in Science Education. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a sub.